Hi, I'm Kayla Wood, and I'm doing my podcast for 3901. This podcast is to go over this week's readings and to give you my take on them. So the reading that I focused on this week was People's Sovereignty versus Impunity Incorporated, Counterpower and Struggles for Justice. That is a mouthful of a title. Anyways, so basically this reading went over the injustices that are happening in El Salvador because of the mining that goes on there and how it's totally destroyed the country. And it talked about how corporations get around these laws that El Salvador or countries like El Salvador have in place. So one company that does this is Pacific Rim that this article specifically talks about. And the article says this about Pacific Rim. It says, the Pacific Rim versus El Salvador case confirms the urgent need for a binding agreement on transnational corporations to ensure effective compensation for the victims of human rights violations. Basically, to dumb it down a little bit, it is talking about how Pacific Rim went in and they mined El Salvador and they left the place in a complete wreck. They, they contaminated the ground. They had no plan to fix the contamination after they were done in there. So the people of El Salvador were like, hey, this is a violation of our basic human rights. They ruined our water. Now there's 98% of our water that we can't drink because of places like Pacific Rim. So they basically were asking for compensation for this violation of basic human rights. Usually the country loses and they end up having to pay the corporations for losing money. So the United Nations, what I specifically was concerned with when reading this was that the United Nations exists to protect people's basic human rights and yet United Nations didn't step in in this situation. They just let it happen. So why I was bothered with this is, okay, so the basic, hum- one number 25, basic human rights, says all humans have access to food and shelter. And companies like Pacific Rim are taking these basic human rights away from people. They no longer have food, or sorry, they no longer have water because they've contaminated their ground. They have less food because they can't grow in these contaminate can't grow food under these contaminated grounds they can't have healthy livestock because what do they feed and what do they water these livestock so they can't eat their animals for some reason united nations isn't able to step in and win against these corporations and this tells me that corporations have more rights than humans do it's this profit capitalism thing versus humans staying alive and somehow our world chooses capitalism and this is just so unjust and things like this are going on all over the world i mean look at syria right now their people are starving you have to look at people's basic human rights so basically my takeaway from this week's was when Dealing with corporations like this, we have to remember the humanity.